as we get deeper into software architecture, um, it's important to learn about the three software paradigms, the three software programming paradigms. And in this video, we'll talk about um, why there are only three of them, uh, why there will probably only ever be three of them, and how they relate to um, and impact software architecture. So let's get into it. Arcanium. Welcome to a production by Dr. Miles Aaron, CEO and co-founder at Arcanium Ventures. Don't forget to subscribe. So as we jump into the software paradigms, it's important to describe what software is composed of. Um, what was discovered is that there's really only three things needed to build any algorithm. That's um, sequence, selection, and iteration. And um, implicitly, we also have indirection, um, which is the ability to reference something uh, using a name, uh, reference or a container, instead of the value itself. So indirection um, just allows us to point to some location in memory that has a value and give it a variable name, for example. Uh, another example of that would be using something like a DNS address um, using using a website URL to point to to a to a DNS address, um, but those other three that can be used to make any other algorithm are effectively what software is composed of, and that includes the sequence, which would be the order that the program is going to execute, and then we have selection, which will be the path that the program is going to execute based on some criteria. So um, you can imagine um, an if or then statement, if else statement. Um, and then we have iteration, uh, which uh, encapsulates all of the, the looping. So iteration will include looping or repeating, um, which could be for loops or do while loops. Um, there's one other concept that's pretty critical here before we talk about the paradigms, um, which is this idea of transfer of control. Um, so when we talk about a software program executing, um, something can happen, which is that we can move from uh, location to location within that program. And um, depending on what language you're in, you may use different terminology for this. Um, but, you know, if you go way back, we're calling them jump instructions um, or interrupts. And then later on, we call them go-tos. Um, and a go-to will be a jump within a function. And a function pointer is, is kind of like... Um, uh, you can think of it as a jump across functions, so pointing, saying, hey, we hit this line, we're pointing to that function, so run that code. And so when we talk about transfer of control, we're just talking about um, any time that you're not just running your code in the order that it's actually written, that the machine knows to jump around the file or across files and execute some other code. As we talk about the software programming paradigms and why there's only those three of them, um, you'll actually find that all three of them were discovered in a 10-year period from 1958 to 1968, um, and that each one of them removes something from the uh, programmer's uh, toolkit or abilities in, able to, in order to enable them to, um, to develop more powerful programs that are more extensible or more easily understandable. Um, and the um, First of those is called structural programming, and it removes the, uh, or it places some restrictions on the use of the go-to statement. Um, the next is object-oriented programming, which places some restriction on the use of function pointers. And then there's functional programming, which places some restrictions on the use of assignment. And so when you look at the paradigms, you can say there's really probably only ever going to be three um, things here, because as we said, we've got... Um, these ingredients for software, and once we remove go-to statements, function pointers, and assignment, um, there's just nothing uh, really else to remove with, within that um, transfer of control conversation. And so the ability for that program to, to run in the order it was written or some other uh, order using transfer of control is, is pretty much fully covered. And that's how those three paradigms Came to be. And so I said I'd, I'd explain how those three paradigms, um, structured programming, object-oriented programming, and functional programming, relate to software architecture more broadly. Um, structured programming is 
is informing the foundation of uh, modules. Object-oriented programming um, gives us gives rise to polymorphism, which instructs uh, cross-architectural boundary um, management, and we'll talk about dependency inversion and how that affects architecture as well. And then um, we have uh, functional programming, which gives um, some information about the location and access of data. So um, from data to architectural boundaries to the foundation of modules, these um, three software programming paradigms are clearly relevant to our study of software architecture. Video production by Brian Harris. Music by Young Logos and Otis McDonald. Sponsored by Arcanium.